This is A-Action Home Inspection Group bringing you another inspection moment through the eyes of the inspector. Today we're out in Fort Worth, Texas doing a septic system evaluation and inspection. Just wanted to cover some of the basics. This is going to be an aerobic type system that has a pump on it that disperses water onto the uh, top of the ground surfaces uh, towards the back of the house. But to cover some of the basic uh, evaluations of what we're going to do, uh, look at is this is going to be the agitation motor this is what's connected to the air lines within the first tank what it does is keeps the water moving and circulating and keeps the bacteria agitated so it grows <coughs> grows faster and also breaks down the waste inside the first tank much quicker you can see here that there's some spliced wires that need to be properly enclosed as we go up to the control box, one of the first things we want to take a look at is to look to see if it's on silent, on normal. And then we also want to test the siren at, uh, while we do this as well. Testing the siren on this particular component, you pull back and you should hear a large signal. You can see here that the signal's not working. It's supposed to be emitted from this location here. Also, the signal light on top indicating failure is not working either. I've already backed the screws off of this so we could take a look on the inside. And you can see on the inside of this particular control panel that there are some blistered wires on the neutral side. Also, there's a lot of corrosion on the components here. These are all reportable items that we want to uh, let our customer know that need to be taken care of. Over here, you can see that we have a two tank system. They're going to be 750 gallons a piece. The first tank is where the waste from the home gets deposited, and then that's where the agitator motor is that keeps everything moving, keeps the bacteria breaking things down. As, a, as the water gets high enough in that one, it passes through a tube between two tanks. This particular tube uh, also has a coordinator on it. You can see here where the chlorine tablet uh, chlorinator is empty, so we're going to report that the fact that additional chlorine tablets are going to need to be added. And then this is the final take here where you can see that uh, you have two floats on the inside. The first float is where uh, it tells the system to disperse the water onto the uh, ground surfaces where the, 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 the dispersion field is. The second float is, in a, just in case the first float's not working, the second float is what uh, sets off the siren to let the homeowner know that there's something wrong with the system and that it needs to be evaluated. You can see back here where there's a head dispersing water onto the ground, and then if we look off to the left of that one, kind of out in the field a little bit, you can see where one of the heads is broken and that it's uh, bubbling up a lot of water. Although the system is a good system in that it's performing today, it does have some deficiencies that need to be reported back to the client so we can get these things taken care of before they move in so they have a good working septic system. A Action Home Inspection Group has several more videos posted on our website. That's at a-action.com. A, that little dash sign, action.com. If you find these videos informative, don't forget to rank them and post comments. A Action Home Inspection Group is here when you need the correct answers to your inspection questions.